Okay, in this video, we will solve the problem to find the resultant of parallel forces. Okay, so number of parallel forces are there. They are like or unlike forces. Just I explain what you mean by like forces and unlike forces and how to find out the resultant of parallel forces in the previous video. You just check it. So today we'll, uh, in this video, we'll solve the problem here. Okay, so first we'll read the problem. Find graphically, this is the graphical method we need to solve. Find graphically the resultant of the forces shown in figure. Okay, you have here four forces are there. That is one is 50 Newton, 70 Newton, 20 Newton and 100 Newton. Okay, shown in figure. They are, they are like forces or unlike forces? They are the like forces because they are parallel to each other but their directions are in the same directions. If the directions are in same directions, then they are called like forces. If in the unlike forces, the lines of actions are parallel, but their directions are in different directions. So here, if you see the picture, these are the like forces. Okay. Next point. The distance between the forces are given in mm. It means the here 30 mm, 25 mm and 30, 35 mm. The distance between the forces, they are given here. You need to find out the resultant by using the graphical graphical method. What is the one more point he is given? Also, find the point where the resultant acts. You need to situate. You need to situate the resultant where it will be. It will be acting here. It means you need to locate the resultant. This is how the problem here. Okay. We will go step by step here. First, you should draw the space diagram. Here it is graphical. You need to use the scale and the some convenient the according to the scales and everything here okay this is the space diagram what it tells space diagram whatever given in the figure you just again transfer once again in the space diagram just draw 500 newton 70 newton 20 newton and 100 but these are okay you don't take the any scale just draw here but in between these take convenient scale that is 30, 25 and 35. It means you can take the mm, 30 mm, 25 mm and 35 mm. Draw 50 Newton, 70 Newton, 20 Newton and 100 Newton. This is the first step. This is the first step. Now go for the second step here. What is the second step? You need to draw the vector diagram. Vector diagram. Okay. Vector diagram. Now start with uh, first uh, before uh, vector diagram you need to mark the forces by using Bose notation. Use Bose notation. Use Bose notation for the forces. What the Bose notation tells? Just mark. This is first force is lies between A this is A and B. Next second force lies between B and C. Third force lies between C and D. And fourth force lies between D and E. Okay. Just not just give the notation of the forces here. Okay. This is both notation. After noting, now start with vector diagram. Start with vector diagram. Start with any point A. That is A. Okay, now come to the first force 50 Newton, 50 Newton, take any convenient scale and convert that into in terms of mm or centimeter. Okay, uh, just take uh, the for your convenient and just take the 10 centimeter equal to uh, 10 Newton equal to 1 centimeter scale. If you want, I'll take that is scale. 1 centimeter equal to 10 Newton, 10 Newton, okay. First force, 15 Newton is there, 15 Newton, how many centimeters, 5 centimeters, 5 centimeters, okay. Now, start with point A, take 5 centimeter, draw a line exactly parallel to 50. This is 
B. Okay, start with point A, draw a line 5 cm, 5 cm, pa exactly parallel to 50, parallel to 50 Newton. This is first force. Now start with B point, B point. Now come to the second force, 70 Newton. 70 Newton is how many centimeters? That is 7, 7 centimeter. That is 7 centimeter. Okay. Now, from point B, from point B, draw 7 centimeter parallel to second force. Parallel to second force. Just I am drawing. This is B and C. Okay. Just the first force I am marking here. This is 50 Newton. That is 50 Newton. That will be equal to 5 centimeter. Okay. Next second force. 70 Newton. 70 Newton that will be equal to 7 centimeter. Now come to the third force. 20. 20 Newton. 20 Newton is how many uh, centimeters? 2 centimeters, right? That is 20 Newton is nothing but 2 centimeters. Start with point C. Start with point C. Take a scale of 2 centimeter and exactly parallel to uh, 20 Newton, this force. Okay, just I am drawing this one as D point. This one as D point. So this is 20 Newton. 20 Newton, this will be equal to 2 centimeter. 2 centimeter. So last force is 100 Newton. Now start with D point. 100 Newton is how many centimeter? That is 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter. Start with point D. Take a scale of 10 centimeter and transfer exactly parallel to dry line parallel to 100 Newton. Parallel to 100 Newton. This is E. This point is E. So from here to here is that is 100 Newton. 100 Newton that will be equal to 10 centimeter according to uh, whatever the scale taken here. Okay. So these are the trans these are the uh, forces you are transferred here. Now select any convenient point O. This is O. This is O. Join from the scale OA, OB, OC, OD, and OE. Okay. Now I'm joining OA, OB, OC. OD, OE, OE, okay, anywhere you can take O, no problem, okay, but you need to join other points here, so this is vector diagram, this is vector diagram, vector diagram, now come to space diagram, after finishing this, come to space diagram, Start with first force 50 Newton. Take any convenient point P on a line of action of the 50 Newton. 50 Newton. Okay. Draw a line. Start from P. Draw a line. P L. Here L. P L parallel to first here. O E. Just this you transfer exactly parallel to here. That is I am transferring this one P. This is P L. That is P L. You need to P L parallel to O E. You need to draw. Draw P L parallel to O E. Now start with P. Again. Draw a line Q. P Q. P Q parallel to O B. That is the second one. Okay. Now and again the parallel is the P Q. Uh, this is O A, right? This is O A and this will be O B. Right? O B. This is O B. Next P Q 
parallel to OB. Next, start with Q. Start with Q. Draw a line. QR. QR parallel to next OC. Okay. OC. That is parallel to QR. QR. Okay. QR parallel to OC. You need to draw. Next, start with point R. Start with point R. Draw a line RS. Then the next point is S. RS parallel to OD. Parallel to OD. Okay. Just I am drawing here. Just you transfer. This is R. This is S. This is S. Next, RS parallel to OD. Parallel to OD. What remaining left here? OE. OE. Now start with S. Yes. Draw a line parallel to OE. Draw a line parallel to OE. It means you are getting here. This will be here will be L and here will be M. M. S M. That is S M parallel to OE. OE. This is how you need to transfer all these lines on the given forces, on the space diagram, on the space diagram. Now, after this step, the next step is, come to the first force, your first point, the point is P, P is light, P is, lies here, okay. Extend this one, extend this point, like this. Next, come to the last force, 100 Newton. Here, yes, point is light. Okay. Extend this force. Extend this force. Okay. Where these two will meet, that point, you just give it as K. Give it as K. Okay. Now, you found one point here. So, now you should draw a line here. This is your resultant force. This is your the location of resultant force, right? The you are you are, you are located your resultant force. After locating, just measure from the scale. How much is there? That is the location. That is the location. Normally, after locating from the scale, you get the location is fifty one centimeter. That is 51 centimeter. Okay. Now you you located the resultant, but what is the magnitude of the location uh, magnitude of this resultant here? The magnitude is nothing but A E A E. This plus this plus this plus this. Okay. Whatever you added, it means all these the uh, forces you are drawn here transferred. So that is the magnitude. So finally, the result is the magnitude of R. Magnitude of this R is it is nothing but A E. What are the measured scale? A E. Uh, A E is nothing but uh, 24 kg of 24 kg of. Uh, after converting the scale, you are getting here. Next location. Where it will be located here? It is at a distance of 51 mm. It is millimeter. Uh, it means all, uh, all are in millimeters. The, after measuring uh, this distance, it is 51 millimeter. Okay. Here also 51 millimeter. It is at a distance of 51 millimeter from the force 50 Newton. From the force 50 Newton. Okay. This is the first force you are getting here. Okay. These two are the uh, magnitude and the location of the final result. Okay. So in this way, you need to find out the resultant and you need to locate the resultant by, of, by if they give the all the parallel number of parallel forces okay you can apply this by a number of forces parallel forces okay